Yeah. What up? I'm back. But I never left, right? It's a conversation with Jay Gamble. You know what it is. We're gonna let this ride out for a minute. This is Jazz, the artist. Santanya, what's up? Ma, I ain't heard from you in a minute. What's good? Shout out to Aunt Terry. What's up, Auntie? You always supporting your show and love. I'm going to just let y'all feel good for a minute. I like this song. This is hot. What y'all think about it? Andrea, what's up, Ma? Toledo, shout out. Marcia White, what's going on with you? Oh, there I go. Hello. Gonna bring everybody in and try and tag everybody. Just rock for a minute. But I'm right here. You know I ain't here to just be looking at y'all. We got some things to talk about. A whole lot of good stuff. Yeah. out of school today. I know a lot of parents wasn't feeling that, but hey, <clears throat> shout out to all the moms that got to do it. Even to the dads that do it when they can, man, you know. It's all about being there by any means. Love them kids, man. Brought them in here. I think I'm just inviting everybody in. Yo. <clears throat> Mr. Carter, my man, Mont. What's going on, bro? Shout outs to you, man. A great inspiration. I remember when you caught me at the, uh, at the uh, Ohio State team camp, man, you really got my point guard game together, man. And you've been a big, big inspiration to a lot of people, man. Shout out to you, man, for always keeping it humble and keeping the truth. Andrea, there she go. Hey, mommy, what's going on with you? Shout outs. Can't wait to see you. Come down here. We're going to show you what the city about. Have a good time. Kamari, what's up, cousin? Can't believe that you weren't here, but you know. It's all good around here. 
Hey Lee, what's up, bro? Out there in, in Arizona, doing it up, man. I wish I could enjoy that weather. You know, we out here in this cold, man. But it's all good. I'm gonna see you soon, bro. So, uh, <clears throat> welcome back to another episode of the Conversation with Jay Gamble. As you know, we bringing uh, been doing some things, been out with a couple of people, been lucky to be a part of a few things, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so I just want to start off. With a couple shout outs. Uh, first of all, uh, <clears throat> you can always catch me right here, Open Table. You can always catch me on Facebook, Talk to him 82 that's T A L K, the number 2 E M, the number 82, on Instagram. Uh, you can catch me on the Conversation with Jay Gamble on Twitter. All right. Uh, coming up, just want to let y'all know. Um, I will be on uh, iHeartRadio tomorrow live at 10.30. Uh, that's going to be going down, yeah, real live, real talk. It's going to be good stuff uh, uh, partnering up with uh, when I did the uh, event this weekend. So um, we're going to go out there. We're going to do our thing on the iHeartRadio interview future. And, uh, you know, shout out to WJJ Management. JJW Consultant, Jerry Ross Senior Marketing Consultant, Javon Collins, William Washington, and then we're going to do the interview along with Sea Life Magnificent Management LLC. So check me out there, y'all, right here on Open Table. I'm going to go live about 10.30, 10.45, live from iHeartRadio, man. Your guy is doing good things, man. You know, people are taking to what we're doing, and, uh, you know, that's what's up. Flair Connoisseur, what's going on with you, my shout out to the stash party. Guys, if you got any uh kind of uh any kind of beard, any 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 need for, you know, that good rich growth, that look, that that healthy, nutritious beard, you know what I mean? Holla at Flair Connoisseur, stash party, man, that's what it is. It's going up. And uh so uh over the weekend I was lucky to uh be a part of the Legends of Boxing. Columbus event and um I'm gonna tell you man it was it was it was something great you know just to see you know those young contenders uh seeing the community coming out supporting each other you know sticking together uh working together you know the food was excellent the vibe was excellent the event was a classic man if you didn't miss it man you missed a part of history man but you know uh I want to give a shout out to all of the people who took a part of that. Hopefully, I don't miss anybody, but if I do, please forgive me. But, you know, we want to shout out uh, USA Boxing, uh, Columbus Rex and Park. Shout out to, super shout out to Mr. Dwight Hughes. Without him, this would be nothing, man. So, shout out to Mr. Dwight Hughes, man, for doing his thing, man. He was all over the place. Still show love. Shout out to the Coop family. You know, uh, rest in heaven, uh, Rodney Coop. Um, his family was there to represent him. Shout out to Michael Clark. You know, Charles Bugs, Fred Anderson, uh, the B&K Smokehouse Barbecue and Ribs. Uh, my man Mario Bowles came out to show some love. Shout out to him. Esteban Weaver definitely was in the building. Shout out to the youth, the youth, uh, and all the boxers. Uh, and there's plenty much more. We got the Gregory Manning Galloway family, the Blue Gill Bar and Grill, the Lincoln Park alumni, the Ark Builders, Bounce TV, Amy Eaton, Williams Foundation, Terry Cornette, the big homie, and Team Slaughter, and the best live DJ around, BHB. If you watch the lives from that weekend and you hear the music and you loved it, which you should, and if you don't, I don't know what rhythm you bouncing to, BHB. That's who you need. Weddings, hangouts, whatever you want. That's your guy, man. That's your guy. So, yeah, that event was uh, really great. <clears throat> we got some uh, upcoming events with that. We got uh, uh, Gershon Jenkins Sr., a.k.a. KJ, uh, 26 years old, repping Columbus, Ohio. He'll be competing in the ring at the Arnold Classic Tournament. Uh, Saturday, March 2nd and the 3rd at the Vondervitt Center. I will be there uh, promoting that event um, as part of his uh, his support team um, as well as some other things going on up there. So uh, check us out there, March 2nd and 3rd. Your boy, Open Table, Jay Gamble. The conversation will be right there. 
uh, doing the thing at the um, at the Arnold this year, y'all. So yeah, hey, we moving up. You know, uh, I want to give a shout out to Shouts Fire. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely shout out to Shouts Fire. You know, A New, A R Green. You know the whole hit squad, Kane. You know, go check them out. They got the battle coming up May 28th up in Miami, Florida. <clears throat> uh, you know what I mean? So you want to take that trip, want to see some some high authentic Ohio uh, representatives go take on some people out there in Florida, man. Go check them out, man. Shout outs to A New, A R Green, Q Nemesis, Shot Back, Real Deal. You know what I mean? The whole MIA movement, the whole Ohio and Beyond movement, man. Stitch them up. Bordy, Giovanni, you know what I mean? All them battle rappers out there in that league, man. All them artists out there on the grind doing their thing, trying to get to where they got to get to, man. So, you know, shout out to them, man. So, you know, I just wonder, you know, always want to show up, open up and show some love, man, because, you know, without the love, you know what I mean, it doesn't mean anything, you know. Anybody know me, know I'm a real authentic, genuine dude. So, you know. <clears throat> You know, giving that love is always just an automatic thing for me. So, so, uh, oh yeah, and shout out to Cardi Samuels. Shout out to Cardi Samuels out there in Brooklyn, man. Seven one eight, man. Brooklyn, go hard, man. Showing love on the boxing of uh, uh, the Legends of Columbus event, man. Shout out to him. All right, so, uh, so going right along into it, man. I wanna, I wanna just talk about this, uh. This uh, Jesse Smollett situation, y'all. I mean, <clears throat> if you follow the lives about a week ago, maybe two, uh, we talked about this whole situation where um, he was attacked. And, uh, you know, they put out the slurs about him being a faggot and put the noose around his neck. And, you know, it was kind of like a, like a, you know, it was like a, it was a it was a double a double edged sword type of thing where you know not only was he black as a minority but then he's also a minority as being in the LGBT community, um, and we sympathize with that even though you know a lot of us in this world may not agree with those choices we all agreed that you know everyone deserves a human right to be treated rightfully <clears throat> and with common decency and without prejudice. Um, though we fight our own battles um, in these days and times, you know, that's still not something that we would hold against anybody else for making those decisions. Uh, and definitely we never wished any ill will uh, upon anybody like that. And in that, I mentioned the fact that Dale Brown, what's going on, big bro? Glad you checked in, man. Great to see you, man. It's always good to see you, man. Uh, so, yeah, so in that, you know, I also mentioned that, uh, they were making a really big deal about uh, what happened with uh, Jesse Smollett. Uh, and I felt like mainly it was, it was because he was, uh, you know, a star who who embraced, you know, the homosexuality life, right? And so because of that, he got that extra push. He got that extra, uh, that extra coverage about what happened to him versus, you know, as I mentioned, the three-year-old. Uh, son who was murdered by his father uh, because his father feared that his son would grow to be gay which his son never got a chance to uh even you know make an option or take a you know to take a stand on what kind of life he wanted to live you know things like that that was so overlooked and there were many other cases you know remember we were talking about the transgender that was uh beat down there beaten to death uh by the policeman uh because he was a transgender guy transgender female or you know I, I don't know however the category is he was they were transgender okay and they were beaten to death uh damn near be, uh, by the police because of that um and that story wasn't you know a big deal um yet you know this jesse smaller thing became such a great deal and come to find out it was a lie a lie. So you did all of this. You know, pay guys to stage it. And you know, let's let's not let's not forget, you know, 
it's one thing to cry wolf, but it's one thing to do that and use something like the uh the stance with the you know homosexuality sensitivity and use that for people to have sympathy for you. How dare you? See that see that that's the shit right there where people say treat everybody the same no matter their no matter their decision. That's where it gets tricky because had this been a, a a normal situation, a girl crying rape and coming out being wrong or or lying, it'd be okay to speak about that. Everybody would say that chick is wrong. That's fucked up. She deserved whatever he got. But now, because this is a situation where uh, homosexuality is involved, shoot back. What's up, bro? Because of that, we can't speak on it. I'm going to speak on it. And say what you will, I believe in equality all across the board. Despite the objections of our time. Um, and, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I be, I've always I've always spoke for treating people as common, human, decent people. So, to do all of that, to use the the agenda pushed behind the homosexual society, uh, and to go as far as all those details, and it's staged, but. How is this supposed to be taken serious when we can't even speak on that without feeling like it's going to be a hundred people saying that we're wrong? To me, that's bullshit, man. I just think that's just weak for whatever choice he chose to do that for. That was weak. Staging something like that on a grand stage, got people all up in arms. I just think it's weak. And, uh, you know, to go on top of that, you know, let's just move along. Just to see what, just to kind of give you a, a glimpse of what I'm saying. Now, we got Kevin Hart, who was supposed to host the Oscars, right? Kevin Hart was announced to host the Oscars. Immediately after he was announced to host the Oscars, old tweets old homophobic tweets from before he was a little bit more mature came back to surface. Uh, let's see. I think I got a note here about a few tweets that uh, Don Lemon, who we all know is like, uh, I don't know. He's a cornball to me. Uh, but he brought these tweets back to... I guess try to stain or try to prove his point against Kevin Hart, uh, which uh, one says, if my son comes home and tries to play with my daughter's dollhouse, I'm going to break it over his head and say, stop, that's gay. Uh, then another one says, why does Damien W. profile pic look like a gay billboard for AIDS? Boom, I'm on fire. Now, to me, that just sounds like he was just being comedic. You know, it sounds like he was just being young Kevin Hart, not really realizing the sensitivity of homosexuality, you know, as it's presented. Uh, but then again, it's expected to be something that's treated as normal. And as normal people, when we see some shit that we want to laugh about, we make a joke. We make a joke. But it's so hard to speak on because this agenda that's pushed behind it is so forced, it makes people have to say something. And then when they say something, we get banned or 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 we get it's, it's so much backlash. It's crazy. And what I'm saying is <clears throat> we living in a world where we can't make those common statements without fearing uh some negative backlash where that's been the 
That's been the norm all the time. When does it become wrong for you to call it or make any joke about any other kind of race or group? Yet we have this guy who, you know, because he was on Empire and had this 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 heightened level of celebrity, um, he used that to to cry for attention, uh, saying that his, a noose was tied around his neck and they called him a faggot. So he knew the elements that he was using to heighten the alarm of the situation. And it was a lie. It was a lie. But then we got people like Don Lemon saying Kevin Hart never made an official apology. This shit just it, it it doesn't make sense. And then he even referred to a company called Vulture, who apparently has investigated how many times Kevin Hart offended the LGBT community. They investigating how many so they sitting back counting how many times man, do you know how many do you know if we counted how many times jokes was made about other other ethnicities? Other other cultures, other backgrounds. Do you know how how you know how many cases of riots people will have? Standoffs, flags, marches. I mean, if you want things to be treated as normal, accept it as normal. But this shit with Jerry, uh, Jesse Smollett, it's some bullshit. He cried wolf in a big way. And I'm just saying, that's some bullshit. I don't know <clears throat> what y'all want to say about it, but <clears throat> I'm just close out with a, a quote that um, I got from Vanity Fair from uh, uh, quoting Kevin Hart. He says, he says, when did we get to the point where we forget that we learn? <clears throat> then we all have the ability to grow. And with that comes a wealth of knowledge. You can't change without understanding of what growth means. I don't know what much more you can say about that. Um, uh, and so a, a quick update. Uh, a sad update, but you know, yet still hopes are alive. Uh, Amber Evans, community activist, still unrecovered. Um, you know, of course, you know, she's an activist for the Juvenile Justice Coalition, the People's Project, uh, and the March of Our Lives gun reform movement. Uh, last, uh, last uh, evidence of her was of her car and her and with her purse locked inside uh, next to the Sayota River. Uh, her mother's been growing very upset with the the searching strategies uh, they've seized off and on because of uh, the inclement weather and the ice. Um, but then again, uh, we don't want to concede that uh, that's where her daughter is. Um, she was last uh, known to be seen with her boyfriend who um, the two of them had, you know, some kind of a disagreement. Um, so, uh, you know, the search still continues for her. Um, so we want to uh, just keep a prayer out for that. Uh, and I'll have an update with you guys on the next uh, live with the uh, situation with the uh, the driver of the red van of what was uh, alleged to be a, uh, a van attached to uh, kidnapping and human trafficking. Uh, pulled over and uh, a person detained over there in the Northern Lights area, uh, which was uh, helped with uh, a lot of shared posts and information and helped to a lot of people. So uh, so we'll get into that too. Uh, Jay Ross, what's going on, boss? I see you in here. Um, so, uh, yeah. I want to talk about this. Uh, I, I, I want to talk about this... Uh, <laughs> this thing where <clears throat> surprise video calls. Julio, what's going on, little chubby? 
So, uh, surprise video calls. Now, this has seemed to be something. It's been a gear grinder from what I've seen all over Facebook. Fellas. Specifically fellas. Now, now before I say that, I'm going to tell you this. Women, don't just think y'all got the right. Just because somebody's showing you a little flavor, just because they're showing you a little rhythm, don't get all excited in the video call him and think it's not the same. All right? I'm just saying, before I say this, because it's killing me that this is like 70% guy. <sighs> Fellas. Unannounced video calls. That is going to get you blocked. That is going to get you unfriended. That Yo, listen. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm taking this from a consensus of a lot of women that I've spoken to uh, via inbox and things like that. You know, y'all just don't know what I have to go through just to convince them. I have to go through like five messages just just to convince them that like Andrea said delete it yeah automatically bro you you missed your shot getting too excited like i don't i don't know what makes y'all think that just video call especially the video call bro a video call is like a video call is like you not expecting somebody to come to your house but you know them or you know of them and then you catch them looking through the peephole or peeking through the blinds. Like, bro, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. Yo, Ty, what's going on, King? Shout out to Ty, man. Uh, a big inspiration on Columbus basketball, Ohio basketball, national basketball, international basketball, man. You know what I mean? Y'all check him out, man. He got that Kingdom Summer League popping, man. Training. Uh, he got a lot of uplifting things going on. Uh, he got that uh, podcast coming up, too, man. That definitely with uh, some legends and some... Uh, definitely building with the future. So, uh, if, if your kid needs some work, want to get that A1 work, man. Todd Kingdom is the guy to go see, man. Not only will he build your kid the skill, man, but he give him the will and the real. And that's real talk, man. So uh, check him out, man. Awesome father. Awesome leader, man. Uh, he's an awesome guy all around, man. Shout-outs to him, man. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, hey, fellas, man. I'm getting this from the ladies, okay? Because I have to go through, like, five messages just to convince them I am not messaging them for 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 any individual gain of mine, all right? Y'all got to stop with the video calls. Y'all got to stop with the Facebook calls. Y'all got to stop it. They don't like it. And I even got a quote. I got a quote from 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 one, from one lady. And then she says, I have to confirm or deny your friendship. I should be able to do the same about a phone call. So Facebook, admins, I know y'all watch everything. If you check this part out, y'all heard it. It's anonymous, man, 70-30. The women, man, they want to be able to approve the phone call or deny the phone call like they do a friendship. Now, we know, of course, you can just hit X. But, you know, maybe a notification to say, hey, such and such is attempting to call. Do you want, you know what I mean? Because sometimes that ring and that X is just an indicator that, okay, I'm on Messenger, but I, I denied you. And sometimes, you know, I know it's a lot of creeps out there, man. But uh, yeah, man, we we can't we can't we can't we can't we can't be doing. Let's let's say, let's let's say it right now. We're gonna we're gonna dead the uh the the surprise phone calls, and the video calls in twenty nineteen, fellas. No more surprise calls. Get permission. Say, hey ma, you mind if I call you real quick? Or what you doing? I'm about to hit you real quick. Get a okay. Get a thumbs up. Get something. Don't blow the shot, man. Don't blow the shot. 
So, uh, oh yeah, and coming up, coming up, I just want y'all to know, uh, we got Lakita, sweet baby Kita Chroma. She'll be in town soon, around early March. I'll get some exact dates. That's the, uh, Carolina queen of comedy, the hottest in Atlanta. Just did the, the, uh, the thing out there in Tokyo. Just did a thing out there in Iraq. Just performed Super Bowl weekend, uh, did the comedy Super Bowl weekend um, out there in in, in uh, Atlanta. She just won the Apollo, uh, the Showtime at the Apollo. One of the you know the first female comedian, one of the few comedians to ever win at the Apollo, and then following she did the Steve Harvey show. You know she's gonna come down here in Columbus. And give us that funny, you know what I mean? She got that, I promise you. Ladies, I'm telling you, she's all about your type of funny. And families can get it too. So y'all come get this funny, man. We're going to try to catch up with her and get to talk to her for a minute. So what's on? And then coming up, we got um, on March the 2nd in Port, at Portsmouth High School at the old gym. Uh, we got the boxing event coming up. If you want to go to that, uh, I'm going down there. I'll be there live once again, doing my promotion thing, doing my live thing, doing my podcast thing, doing my spread the love thing, man. So if you want any tickets or info, man, you can contact Hard Knocks Training Center, 740-352-5939. The tickets are $15 in advance, 20 at the door, and all proceeds go to the Hard Knocks Training Center. So, yeah. We got that stuff coming up. But uh, again, fellas, man, video calls, phone calls unannounced are wrong. Video calls unannounced is trespassing. <laughs> Don't catch that Facebook charge, man, and, and get permanently banned, man. Please don't do it, man. You might have missed the love of your life, man, being extra thirsty, man. Just do not do it. So, uh, that completes everything that I wanted to bring to the table. As for right now, I'm going to chill for a minute. And I want to just show some major love to, uh, I want to bring, uh, I want to show some major love to, uh, a great legend of the city. Since we talking legends of the city, I'ma let I'ma let I'ma let him rock for a minute. And uh y'all got some comments, y'all got some questions, then I'm open for it. Until then we just gonna rock to this East Main YG. I don't think y'all heard me the first time, man. A legend. Then we're going to ride on up out of here. I tell you, don't you call me and mess up my life. Night, I'm Terry. I love you. As I ride out to the to the late great YG, rest in heaven YG, rest in heaven J Jack man, rest in peace Larry Love man, Jamal Zidi. Uh, oh man, so many man. Uh, the big homie Tyran man, Mama Burton. Uh, Trigger Trash, uh, man, you know, uh, Cousin Deidre, you know, rest in peace, Bobby and Baby, Mommy, Jackie Gamble, uh, you know, everybody that we lost, man, Coach Howard, rest in heaven, man. Um, 
I'm not even gonna try to go down the whole list, man. I miss so many people, man. Rodez. Uh, shout out to all the angels watching over us, man. If you ever wanna catch a live, man, you can always catch it here. You can go to the YouTube channel, The Conversation with Jay Gamble. You got any business, you got any ideas, you got any events coming up, you need some extra promotion, you want that extra boost, feel free to always reach out to me on email, LLC at gmail.com. That's P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E-P-R-O-M-O-L-L-C at gmail.com. You can always check me on Instagram. Talk to him, 82, T-A-L-K, number 2, E-M, the number 82. Uh, that's on Instagram. Or you can catch me right here, Open Table on Facebook. All right, so I thank y'all for checking in for another episode of The Conversation with Jay Gamble. We got much more to talk about. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I know I sound vicious. We got much more to talk about. Much more coming up. We're going to try to check in with the family of the, uh, we're going to try to check in with the family of the, um, the girl who was pursued by, uh, the, the guy in the store. Um, and was told not to say nothing and they took a stand for that. Um, get some updates on that and some things. So, uh, Ebony Baton, what's going on with you, my Roosevelt Trotter? Hey, listen, I know I'm about to close out. But anybody watching, I'm going to share this tomorrow. Check this out. Oh, I tell you, you got the best coffee maker skills. I miss not being able to be over there on the wake up and get that early morning. Best part of waking up is what Aunt Terry puts in your cup. <laughs> but listen, this man, Roosevelt Trotter, man, you talk about greatness. You talk about fatherhood. You talk about never changing. You talk about always supporting. You talking about always being the same, even when, you know, things don't seem the same. Man, this man Roosevelt Trotter, man. You know, that's the guy. And I'm going to tell you, man, his father was a great man. You know, rest in heaven to Mr. Trotter. He was a great man. He would say things that you didn't understand, and then he say, say what? Did I say that? And then they catch you like, oh, man, he just dropped a bomb on me. Let me tell you, man, that's the first man that I knew that had a kid and stood by it no matter the circumstance. And every kid after, he always made sure they got the equivalent, if not more. To this day, that man is a uh, a restless, involved father to all of his children. And I'm not saying this here, attack the cliches or none of that. I'm just saying that to honor this man because it's, I'm just lucky to, to know a family like his that passes on a legacy that he continues to lead in an example of, you know, a great person and a great father. A great father to all of them bar none including being a leader to his family so shout outs to you bro I love you bro you know I rock with you a million percent and we gonna leave the show on that man do it like you believe it man and they gonna believe in you man love yourself before you love anybody else man and everything else will follow man this is another episode of The Conversation with Jay Gamble. I appreciate y'all for showing the love, for rocking with me. We're going to keep this going all the way to the top and beyond. And when we get there, we're going to celebrate together like we do right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about. I'm out of here.